Hello everybody. Today we are going to discuss about basic area chart. So basic area chart is almost similar to that of a line chart. Line chart, you through line chart you can compare two values with respect to the timeline. That means okay, you can give two two years or last year or this year's of sales, and you can compare with both the years, the sale or the profit. But you will get two lines on it. You can check the difference between two points, but if you are using area chart, it will be very easy to find out okay, the difference between the two points. That means the first line and the second. So the area between axis and line is filled with colors. So it will be easy for us to find out the difference between the two measures or the two values. So this is about area chart. In this example, you can see the sales. We are comparing it with respect to the months for the year 2018 and 2019. This is 2019 and this is 2018. So we can see the difference. The difference between these two is shown in the with respect to colors. So the area between axis and line is filled with colors to indicate volume. The area of chart emphasizes the magnitude of change over time and can be used to draw attention to the total value across a trend. For example, the data that represents sales over a time can be plotted in an area chart to emphasize the growth, the difference between these two. So this is 2018 value and we can see the growth, how much it, it has in the year 2019. So basic area chart, a great choice you want to see and compare the volume trend across a time series. So now we can see an example of an area chart. Of course, the data is loaded. We will check the tables, the tables came, and we will see the relationship. This is not this is not a star schema. This is a snow cut schema, and uh, it's okay. Whatever may be, so we are just going to see the sales with respect to the years. So we will take the visualization and we will take the area chart. And here in the area chart, we will select the price, the values, and the axis we will give the purchase date. And in the purchase date, we don't need a quarter or a day. We just need year and month. And in the legends also, we will give purchase date. So that we can distinguish between uh, two dates. Here, instead of uh, this thing, you can do it higher. So now we saw, now we can see, okay, here we have different dates. And if you go to the next level, you will see the exact area chart of different different years with respect to the months. So now it is better to filter the dates. We will take just two dates. For example, we will take 2017 and 2018 or, or three dates we will take 2017, 18 and 19 we will take. Just go to the filter and uh, to the date here and use basic filtering and we will take 17 18 and 19 we will take it is not that much clear so better we will go for 18 and 19. see now that we can see the difference between these two dates in a, in a very good fashion so we can use data labels to make it more clearer. At the same time, we can use a slicer also. We can give a region name in the slicer and we can check with respect to the region how sales performed in 2018 and 2019. So here, if you find, you can see it, okay, 2018 sales went up and 2019 
In July 2019, sales were down and 18 was up. This much volume it was up. And here also this much volume it was up in the October. So like this we can find out the difference between two timelines with respect to the sales or profit using this area chart. Hope this will help you. You can explore more. If you have any comments, you can write it below. Have a nice day. Thank you.